All right, hello, Sam Spence here on the Alex Garrett Podcast Network. And uh, let me tell you, if there was ever a need for some rallying, so- you know, Sam Spence music, I would say it's to honor what a big weekend it was, not in football so much, um, but in American history. I mean, when I hear that music, I think of the fired up troops that, and and the Sons of Liberty that dumped the tea in the Boston Harbor in rebellion against the English 250 years ago. What this weekend kicked off, kicked off was a start to year 250 of America. Because 250 years ago, on December 16th, in protest to the taxation without representation. Those who did not want to go along with England's rule, those who wanted to rebel, as I mentioned a moment ago, against the taxes, dumped tea in the Boston Harbor, which led to the beginnings of a revolution. Couple that with the fact that this past Friday, Joe Biden, interestingly enough, of course he would, reaffirmed that indeed December 15th is Bill of Rights Day here in America. But did you know all of that? Or did you know that uh, a sex scandal has rocked Capitol Hill? Is that what you were focused on this weekend? How about the Israeli... uh, Hamas war, was that a focus of yours as well? Because I think to not lose sight of what we could be, we must remember where we came from. And I don't know if any of us would be here today if in uh, 250 years ago, in 1773, the Boston Tea Party... Did not happen. We may not all be here right now if they did not rebel. That was the start of rebellion and the march to independence. So while we deal with the current events of today and the craziness of today and the horrors of today, let's remember what we could be by honoring the fact that Boston's Sons of Liberty in 2023 partnered up with America 250, an organization that is taking stories of people in America on the march to 250 years as a country, 2026, by the way, and saying, here, we're going to honor what 250 years ago was. I mean, the harbor was filled with people for the reenactment, the redcoats were even involved as part of this reenactment. The Redcoats, they went all out last night in Boston, in Boston Harbor, to honor the men and women, the Sons of Liberty, that started off a journey that, of course, would include George Washington, the Intercontinental Congress, or the First Continental Congress. It would include... Bloody battles in Lexington and Concord. Victorious ones at that. It would include Paul Revere's The British is Coming. The British is Coming. But it it, it wouldn't have happened if the Sons of Liberty didn't go on and say, No, we will not pay your taxes on this tea so far to the point where we will dump it in the Boston Harbor. I think that's a pretty powerful statement. And today, England and us are allies, of course, the UK. But to be knowing how great we can be and how resilient we can be and how really saying no to big government we can be, we only have to look at what happened 250 years ago, December 16th, 2023. 
the dumping of the tea in Boston Harbor. I could talk about how bad the Jets and Giants were today. I could talk about how great it is that Josh Allen looks back. I mean, at least someone in the Tri-State's playing decent football. Hell, I can even talk about how the Chiefs uh, knocked out the Patriots in year 250. And how the Rangers knocked out the Bruins the day of the Boston Tea Party anniversary. How's that for bucking establishment? Remember, the Bruins are establishment of the NHL right now. So for the Rangers to knock them off and get two points on the day of the tea party anniversary, pretty cool. Up in Boston, by the way. Oh, by the way. And then, of course, we could talk about what's happened in Capitol Hill and how bad this... uh, Senate staffer has become has become an issue. But I want to think positive today on a Sunday. I want to think positive on a weekend that honored such a moment in history where we said, no, we will not accept your rule of thumb. We will not accept being under your thumb. And by God, if we can get that spirit again and not easily go into lockdown when the government tells us again and not easily be, I hate to say the word sheep, but easily be swayed into doing what the government tells us, we'd be better off. We are meant to be a small government country. With the government intervention being very limited and only when needed. And I think the Boston Tea Party and the Bill of Rights proves that. I think the fight toward the Bill of Rights, which was ratified in Philadelphia, by the way, proves that. The fight for independence proves that. We broke away from England for the very reason we... Complain every time we file our taxes. Because government didn't work in 1773 for those in the Boston Tea Party movement. And I don't think government works for us today as well as it could and should. So that's why I'm so happy that many gathered in Boston on a cold December day to remember our ancestry, America's ancestry. And what they did to help us become America. I feel like 250 years later, we're losing it. We're losing the very fabric of what it means to be America. Because we bow down to government more than we say, more than we stick up to government. We need to stand up to government when need be, take them to court. When need be. Dump the tea in the harbor. When need be. Because that's the spirit of America. The can do attitude. Not the I'm going to let the government do it for me attitude. We have to get away from that again. And believe it or not. When even under President Trump. they, 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 They passed spending bills that were still ridiculous. Proving to me. Republican, independent, businessman, Democrat or not. Things can get done, but at the end of the day, they're all in it to keep the spending going. That's how I feel. I started this podcast, in fact, because I thought my generation wasn't knowing where our taxes were going. So I'm going to also say right now, For Mayor Adams to even dare, dare suggest raising taxes on us, I would say, no way. Focus on the migrants first. Trump calling immigrant blood poisoning to the country doesn't help our cause 
of a closed border system. But I think instead of doing what we did on January 6th, which was really, 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 really not the point of what happened 250 years ago, it might have that same rebellion nature but doesn't accomplish it. Makes movements look stupid. Of course, now there are laws in place where rebellion may not be able to happen so quickly. So people have to break the law. And I guess you could consider the dumb, the Boston Tea Party breaking the law. But I look at it as a spirit of America right there. It was an innocent act to dump the tea in the harbor. Jan 6 was not an innocent act. So we got to figure out better ways to rebel and stand up when we see the government closing in on us so tightly. And I think, I think the godsend was that IRS agents won't be on our asses anymore when we're talking about taxes. They're not knocking on our doors. Believe it or not, in America, the reason for the Tea Party movement is still happening. That encroachment is still happening. Did you know? Did you know in America alone? I got I to gotta find the stat for you before I wrap up here on the Alex Garrett podcast. Because as of this year, the IRS announced a, an end to unannounced revenue officer visits to taxpayers. This was a decades-long practice by IRS revenue officers knocking on the door. And we had to all be okay with that. We had to be all okay with that. And you know, the Inflation Reduction Act was a big part of it. So thanks to Commissioner Danny Wolfrow for understanding that the taxpayers should not be intimidated by knocking on the door. That's a big policy change. That's a big policy change. And we, we, we should be thankful for that. So thankful for that. But let's do other movements towards less encroachment as a country. As a country. Because what happened 250 years ago was saying, no, no, we will not let you encroach on us. We will not let you encroach on our livelihoods by giving us, by, by presenting taxation without representation. That will not happen. On this third Sunday in Advent, maybe, just maybe, we can take that higher power of resilience and spirit of answering to a different call to heart. Because Christ answered to a higher calling. Even the guys in 250, 250 years ago, were answering to a higher calling of independence and freedom. And yes, God, by the way. Yes, God, by the way. The First Amendment is freedom of religion. And that is something that came about because those in the Boston Tea Party said no more. That act of disobedience led to something bigger. 
So let's not storm a Capitol building. Let's work on ways to remove encroachment of the government that can be as successful and as poignant as Boston Tea Party 250. On that note, a little more Sam Spence for you. As I say goodnight on the Alex Garrett Podcast Network.